Hi guys, so this is DeKylo with another ASMR video for you and today's topic is one I've tried to film a couple of times and I really want to get this right because I think it's a really fun idea but I'm going to show you all of my fragrances and perfumes and you're probably going to notice after the first few that I really love sweet vanilla bakery type fragrances so almost all of them are going to fall under that range of fragrance and many of them are from indie companies there are a few um, non-indie companies but it is mostly indie so i'm going to go ahead and get started and show you and i also wrote out and printed a couple sheets of paper with the description from the manufacturers or from the um, apothecaries about their uh, top notes middle notes base notes or just the notes in general for each perfume so I'm going to read those to you as well, since that seems to be something that a lot of you enjoy. And I'm going to go ahead and get started now. So the first one I'm going to show you is the one I've had for the longest. This one is not indie. And this is from a company called War Paint Beauty. And I actually picked this up during a clearance sale at Hot Topic. Mm. I don't remember exactly when, but it's been a couple, few years now. And originally what drew me in was the bottle. Um, I actually wasn't a big uh, perfume wearer at that time, but I really loved the pretty bottle. I love the purple. And this blue lid looks kind of like a gemstone, like a large gemstone. And I don't really wear this one anymore, but I did wear it quite a bit when I first got it, as it was the only perfume that I really had. Um, and it definitely smells like a regular perfume. Um, if you've ever tried indie fragrances, you'll notice that especially the fragrance oils, they kind of have a different different type of scent. But anyway, let's talk about this one for now. Um, so this is uh, War Paint Beauty's Indie Perfume, and the description is for the unrestrained, bold, and audacious, a mouth-watering assortment of sweet creams and hypnotic vanilla. And it's described as having top notes of vanilla cream soda, whipped cream, and middle notes of cream frechet, I may not be pronouncing that right, and sweet butter, and bottom notes of light puff pastry and vanilla bean. Um, I'm not sure I can pick up all of those. Um, I don't think my nose is quite that well trained, but it does smell. Still, it smells quite nice, and especially for a more, not really mainstream, but kind of mainstream. Um, it's definitely one of the sweeter fragrances I've found. I'm not sure if this is even still available. I'm guessing that it might not be. But that's Indie from More Paint Beauty. Now the next one I have is this little vial. And... This is a vanilla caramel uh, fragrance oil that I got at a Rin Fair. And I was looking for something vanilla, obviously. And vanilla caramel smells a lot like cinnamon rolls. And really, who doesn't like cinnamon rolls? Not many people, I imagine. I think a lot of people like cinnamon rolls. Um, I don't have a fragrance description for this one, obviously. But I, I still wear this occasionally, and you can see I actually haven't worn a lot of it. Um, it's only gone right there, but um, this, because this is an oil, um, I like to apply this on my fingertip 
And then I put a little bit on my wrist, and I apply to my other fingertip. Put a little bit on this wrist, and then I apply one more time, and dot a little bit behind each ear, and then sometimes I'll do more, and then run it down my neck, or in the summertime, I'll actually put it on my chest. Um, and the reason I put it in those places is because when people hug you, they're very close to your ears and possibly your neck, depending on whatever. I just like the process of putting it on my neck, I think. Um, so they smell the fragrance. And then I tend to talk with my hands a lot. So I have my hands up near my face more often. So then I can smell it on my wrists. And also I think most of those are fairly traditional places that people apply perfume, so I didn't make them up on my own. I just adopted those places, but uh, that's why I continue to apply it there. So that's Vanilla Caramel. Now the next ones I have are from a larger um, manufacturer, but I still think that they're not totally mainstream, or at least I feel they pay a lot of attention to their customers and fragrances a bit more than very large companies do. And these are from Demeter. This one is Choco Cat. And then I also have this one, which is my Melody. And the bottles make that nice Last sound. So, Choco Cat is described as chocolate with fresh ripe red cherries. And these are little, um, what they call splash cologne type bottles definitely smells like chocolate cherries. Um, so they can be applied similar to the oils, but I actually don't wear these as much anymore because whatever they have in the, the alcohol that they use, um, it tends to irritate my nose and makes me do this <laughs> when I put it on. It's a little bit better when I put it on manually versus spritzing it, but um, that's why I don't wear these as much. Now, I, it's not intolerable or terrible. It's just one of those things that that's just the way it is for me. So my melody is described as simply almond pound cake. And I love the little my melody bottle. Choco Cat's pretty cute too. Um, I actually remember when I was a little girl, I used to go in, uh, I don't remember what store it was. Um, I don't think it was a Sanrio store specifically, but they had all of the little Sanrio stuff. And I've always been a sucker for those little kits, like kits in general, um, especially if they include tiny things. And they always had the ones with the little notebooks and then like the little pencil sets and things like that. And I always wanted those, but they were always so expensive, at least for at the time and for what you got. Um, and so I never really got any of those, and now I never see the same ones when I look at the same type of thing. So I guess now I have the perfumes, which is maybe a slightly more grown-up version, who knows. And then I have three more from Demeter. I have this one, which is Vanilla Cookie Dough. And Vanilla Cookie Dough is described as dense, delicious, and full-bodied, a vanilla lover's delight, but without the cloying sweetness that vanilla fragrances can develop. smells, it does smell like cookie dough, um, unfortunately, each time I read this description, it mentions the cloying sweetness, um, not exactly sure what cloying sweetness is, I mean, I can guess based on the meanings of the words, but, um, I 
I think I actually like the cloying sweetness. Um, I like perfumes that actually smell like food. And so I really like the super sweet and a little bit less artificial smelling. So maybe that's why the cookie dough one didn't smell quite like I was hoping it would. Um, I have one more of the small bottles. And this one is chocolate mint. And chocolate mint is the actual herb, chocolate mint itself. So not chocolate and mint, but chocolate mint. And this one smells really nice too. Again, it definitely has that alcohol smell, but um, it fades. And I do like chocolate mint. Um, chocolate lavender and chocolate mint are probably two of my favorite not totally sweet fragrances. Um, I actually had a chocolate mint body wash that I used as a bubble bath for a long time until I ran out. And then I took much, many fewer bubble baths then. Um, but I haven't been able to find chocolate mint scented bubble bath and a more natural brand um, that doesn't have the sulfates in it. Um, although I have found a couple companies that do offer chocolate mint things that are more natural, they're not bubble bath, but um, I think I found like a body scrub and things like that, so I might have to try those because I do love chocolate mint. And then the last one I have, I just love to sniff this one and it is not like my normal fragrances, but I'll tell you why I really like it. This is Paperback. And this was given to me by a very lovely friend. Um, and it, it's also from Demeter, but this is the larger spritzer type bottle. And the description reads... A trip to your favorite library or used bookstore. Sweet and lovely with just a touch of the musty smell of aged paper. Demeter's paperback harnesses that scent with a sprinkling of violets and a dash of tasteful potpourri. Now, I have no doubt that it does smell like that. Again, I couldn't pick up all of those notes, but it does smell like paperback books, which I like. However, it also reminds me of the cologne that my dad used to wear when I was little. And I remember there were two that he wore because I remember they would sit next to each other in the bathroom. And they were canoe and English leather. Um, and I still have that sort of nostalgic love for those scents and for similar scented colognes and things. Um, although I won't, I won't say I won't, because I actually might. I don't often wear things like that myself, but if someone else has it on, I can pick it up very quickly, and it always kind of makes me a little bit happy because it reminds me of my dad. And I don't think he wears those anymore. I'm actually not sure what he uses now, but, um, I've always loved those two, and I remember what the bottles look like as well. And, uh, so that's pretty cool that this not only reminds me of my friend, of course, but of my dad as well, and then just the scent of paperback books is really just lovely. And that reminds me of lots of wonderful things too, so, paperback. Now the next one I have is a little bit of a different format than what you've seen so far. This is a perfume stick, or perfume sticks, S-T-I-X, by My Beauty Addiction Cosmetics, or MBA Cosmetics. And this is Cappuccino Hazelnut. Now, if you like the scent of coffee, specifically Cappuccino Hazelnut Coffee, 
This is wonderful. It smells exactly like coffee. And I mix my fragrances up frequently, but the few times I've worn this, I can see people like trying to figure out where the coffee is because it smells just like coffee. So I do like this one. Um, and this is um, quite, quite natural, at least the bases. Obviously fragrances are going to be artificial unless they are um, essential oils or things like that, but it has beeswax, coconut oil, and sweet almond oil as the base, so there's no um, alcohol, which is nice. And it applies like a stick, so you can just kind of rub it on like that, or you can put it on your finger and apply it in places as well. So I do like the stick format too. Um, that's a little easier to carry in my purse and it leaks less. And then the next one I have is actually not one that I picked out for myself, but it's one that I got in a grab bag or a mystery bag actually from a company called Rainbow Honey. Now Rainbow Honey usually makes nail polish and you probably saw my video, if you haven't, you can go watch it, um, about my Rainbow Honey Mystery Bag for February. Now, I got this last year, um, I think it was September or October when they sent this out, and this is in the scent Sweet November, and Sweet November is sweet warm musk with notes of coconut and vanilla sugar. And unfortunately, in my many attempts to film this video, I had laid this down on its side, and I guess about half of it leaked out. Um, and the label's a little bit uh, oily now. Um, or whatever it is. Um, but it still smells very nice. And it's a little bit more of a a musky fragrance, but it's still very nice and I do like this one and hopefully I can uh, not spill the rest of it so I can actually wear it out a few more times. Um, this one's at a little rollerball bottle, which I really like. Um, I like that they put their perfumes in these little rollerball bottles because they're pretty convenient as well. And I think the problem actually was that I didn't have the lid uh, screwed on. Properly. I don't think it was actually that the bottle leaks. I think it was my fault. <laughs> I should say that. Um, and then the next one I have is from a company called Blue Rose. And this is their Elven Dreams, or I'm sorry, Elven Charms Chai Dreams. Um, this is also a solid. And as you can probably tell, this is one of my favorite things to just sniff. <laughs> um, it doesn't have the ingredients on it, but I know that this company is uh, fairly natural. Um, but it smells like something that I've discovered that people either love or hate. And that is those cinnamon pine cones that they put out at places that you can buy the bag of. Um, I always see them at like Joanne Fabrics. Um, I think Michaels has them as well and other places too. Personally, I love that scent. Um, it's very relaxing for me and this smells a little, there's a little bit more of the chai scent in this as well, so it doesn't smell just like, but it's very similar, so if you are like me and you enjoy that fragrance, this is really nice. And I do think they still have this, um, even though I've had this one for a little while. Um, I think that they still offer this. So, Also, I will put links to where you can buy all of these in the description, so that if you would like one, you can get one for yourself. The next one is another indie company. This is from a company called Black Violet, and it's the fragrance Yuzu Cookies. And I would have never found this if not for some lovely people in an indie uh, beauty cosmetics group on 
read it and I went and I asked if anybody had any recommendations for fragrances that were similar to like a birthday cake but weren't quite just birthday cake, they had something else to them and someone recommended this and it's a very good thing that I got it because I believe they've discontinued this scent or maybe it's special order only, I don't really remember but um so yuzu cookies is described by me as just delicious but their description is for hundreds of years yuzu has been placed in japanese baths releasing a grapefruit and mandarin orange like aroma the citrus fruit is found in many exquisite dishes and drinks. Enjoy it paired with butter cookies. I this is one of my main one of my main fragrances that stays in my purse all the time. Pretty much all the time. And what it reminds me of are animal crackers. Specifically, I've had two kinds of animal crackers before. And there's the ones that are more like animal cookies that come in the little box that looks like a circus train car. Then there's the kind that comes in the giant container and those are usually like smoother. If you've had them, you know what I mean by that. The texture of the cookie, like the outside of it is smoother and it is more like I guess like a biscuit or a cracker. It smells a bit more like the second kind to me. The animal crackers that come in the tub or the jar. Um, if you've not had those, you probably think I sound a little bit crazy right now. If you have had both of them, you'll know that there is a little bit of a difference. So this smells like the animal crackers to me. I'm sure it's a bit more sophisticated, but it reminds me of that. And obviously I like fragrances that remind me of things. So that's Black Violet's Yuzu Cookies. And then the next two I have, I have cat hair all over everything, <laughs> are just little samples that I got from a company that used to go by the Mindful Mushroom. But now I believe she goes by Acorns and Alchemy. And I have one in coffee shop and one in the fairy picnic. Now coffee shop is described as primary notes of coffee, vanilla, cream, cinnamon, and caramel. So I'm not going to open this but I can smell it without opening it all the way. I struggle so much with these little perfume vials. I have the most difficult time with these. Um, but it does smell pretty much like the description. And this is actually the one that I wanted to try the most when I found their company. They, they are a very um, highly recommended indie perfume company. But I decided I also would try the Fairy Picnic for something a little bit different. Now. The Fairy Picnic is described as having primary notes of cookies, caramel, hot cocoa, passion fruit, and pumpkin. And again, I mentioned that I was looking for different fragrances to try at one point, and this one definitely fits with my sort of sweet, uh, sweet tooth for perfumes, I guess. But it does have some different, that slightly fruity sort of scent as well from some of the passion fruit and the pumpkin. And I am planning to buy the full size bottle of this. It's actually not that expensive. I think it's something around, it's under $20 anyway. Um, it might even be under $10 for one of the sizes that they have. Um, I really want this. I was actually on their website browsing last night, but I was on my phone, and my phone is not super cooperative with certain websites, so I'll have to go look that up soon. 
because I would love to have the larger size of this, especially for spring and summer, because I think it would be really nice then. Now, the last ones I have for you, and I have a couple of uh, stories, or at least one story to go with these. These are from a company called Damon Kitty on Etsy, and then, but also I think she goes by Lulu Soap or something similar to that. I don't think, I don't think it says on here um, the second name. It just has the Etsy URL on it. So, again, I was on Reddit and asking about these, and someone did mention her to me, and I went and checked out her shop, and she offers these cute little vials. And I don't remember the exact price um, of them. I did the first time I made this video, but I don't anymore. So, um, inexpensive, very affordable. But she has some amazing fragrances, including this one. And this one is Lemon Blueberry Cheesecake. I can't imagine anyone not wanting to smell like lemon blueberry cheesecake. <laughs> I'm sure some people don't like lemon, but the lemon's not overpowering. Um, it's blueberry cheesecake and lemon muffins. I really like this one too. Sometimes the hardest part for me is figuring out which one I want to wear that day. Um, this one is really nice and I, um, I like to save this one for like celebrations, birthdays, um, Sometimes when I go visit my family, I wear it then. I like to save it for things like that because it just seems really cheery and uplifting. So there's that one. Now, the next one I have is my attempt to try what I thought would be a more dignified, less sweet, ladylike fragrance. So, less sweet, more ladylike. Although sweet is ladylike as well, but you know what I mean. This is fig and tea, and it is described as ripe figs, red and black currants, black tea, and brown sugar. And it is a little bit more of a, a dignified, less sweet, we'll call it more ladylike as well, fragrance. Um, it comes in again in this cute little vial. And I actually like this. Um, I kind of reserve this for um, like more serious family gatherings or maybe slightly more formal events, things like that. Um, I like to go on themes. So that's what I would like this one for. And then I have two more and then I'll tell you the story about the last two. So the other two that I have from them is Good Morning and Apricot Tart. So, Good Morning was I actually the most out of their fragrances because it's the most similar to the ones that I have and I knew I would like it. So, Good Morning is Sugar Blueberry muffins, butter, maple syrup, oatmeal, sugar cookies, vanilla beans, and milk. And I'm not even sure exactly what this smells like, but it is wonderful. I mean, I can't place probably all the things that it describes, um, all the things I just read to you, but this is yummy. Um, I wear this one also very frequently. Every time I do, people love it. They always comment on it and say that it smells really good. Um, so this is it. This is probably my, we'll call this like a signature fragrance for me. And then Apricot Tart was actually a, uh, like a free bonus sample that I got. Um, I, ordered, I ordered the five and then I got this one included with the order. Um, but I didn't actually select this scent. And this one is fresh apricots and buttery pastry. So it does have a little bit of a fruity scent. But it also kind of smells like, um, like almond cookies or, um, like marzipan to me. 
so it's it's nice. I, I'm trying to think if I've worn this out yet or not. Um, either way, I, it's a nice fragrance and I will be wearing it out in the future. But now, let's talk about these last two. So, we have Candied Lavender and Candied Lavender and Pumpkin. Now, need to settle in to tell you this story, apparently. I like lavender. I do. It is probably the only... It's really the only floral scent I can tolerate very well. So, candied lavender sounded like a wonderful idea. And candied lavender and pumpkin just seems like a great one to go along with it too because I like pumpkin and um, the candied lavender is described as lavender, coconut filled chocolates, cotton candy, candy apples, and caramel. And then the candied lavender and pumpkin is lavender, chocolate cupcakes, coconut cream cheese icing, purple cotton candy, and pumpkin frosting. So they are different, but lavender is involved. So, we'll talk about the, actually, let's talk about the candied lavender and pumpkin first. So I think this was actually the first, no, this would have been the second one that I tried because I'm pretty sure I tried the blueberry cheesecake one first. But I took this one with me and I think I wore this for like Thanksgiving weekend. Um, it definitely has that little bit of pumpkin pie spice, but I, and I don't really pick up strong lavender, but... It smells really nice. Um, it's one of those things where I like the way it smells, but I can't quite place what it smells like. Um, as far as trying to tell, like the animal crackers or whatever that I could try to describe to you. But I do like it. It definitely fits in with what I like. Um, and it has that sort of spicy scent, but it's still kind of sweet. It's, it's foodie. It smells, it's a foodie scent. And I wore it that whole uh, Thanksgiving weekend. I think it was Thanksgiving and it was so lovely. It's a very nice holiday scent. Oh, I was like, oh yeah, I love this. So then I had to attend um, another family event and it was more serious and so I wanted to wear the candy lavender one because I figured it would be a little less sweet and maybe a little more appropriate. And I think I had all of these in my purse anyway, and I just wanted to try this one thinking that it would be a good idea. Obviously, as I'm leading into this, you can tell that it was not a good idea. Now, if you wear fragrances, and particularly if you wear fragrance oils um, versus some of the others, but I guess other the spritzy perfumes do this too, Sometimes certain fragrances react with your body chemistry and it changes the fragrance. So I've heard of women who they don't particularly like the fragrance in the bottle, but then they spray it on themselves and they really like it. I've also heard, and this is what happened to me, where they like it okay in the bottle, or they even love it in the bottle, and then they spray it on their own skin and just hate it. I won't say that I hated this. I didn't the hate is a strong word. But when I put this on, it changed on my skin with my body chemistry to a fragrance that I did not like. Now, I love every single other one that I have from this company. I've heard other people like this one. So I'm sure that it's not her or her formulation or even this perfume in particular. It's just me and my body chemistry with this perfume. I really feel like I need to say this because I'm not I'm not trying to be negative about this product. I'm just saying that it didn't work for me. So anyway, I put it on and the problem was we had to go in quickly. So I was like, okay, well, what am I going to do? I don't like the way this smells. And my husband's like, that's fine. It doesn't smell bad. And no one else said anything about it or made any weird faces or anything. So I don't think anybody else minded it. But I tried to layer something else on with it. That helps a little bit. Um, but... This one just didn't work out well for me. So that's unfortunate, but it's okay because all the other ones did and you're not gonna get 100% success all the time. So those are my fragrances. At least the ones I wear now. I actually don't think I have any other ones. That's pretty much all of them. 
and I hope you enjoyed my descriptions of them and talking about them and sharing my stories and that this was a relaxing video for you, if not also ASMR tingle inducing. So please comment if you would, uh, definitely like the video, and let me know what you would like to see a video on next. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!